We're going to be offshore of the southeast United States, roughly east of Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. This is a region called the Blake Plateau. The Blake Plateau is a flat area, about 600 to 1,000 meters deep. Most of the East Coast is sort of a gradual shelf that transitions slowly into the deep ocean. We have some fascinating canyons to the north, but down here you have this very broad sort of mid-depth shelf, which is fairly unusual, and then you have a very steep drop off into the very deep sea called the abyss. It's been known for quite a while. There's a lot of foundational work in this region by scientists that did early submersible work here. Pilot, dive super. Good, dive super. You guys are free to uh, continue your descent. The recent systematic mapping and exploration efforts on the Blake Plateau provide a perfect case study of how we can implement NOMEC. By coordinating among many partners, we can strategically plan and implement exploration missions such that each expedition builds upon the others in mapping coverage, and then we can efficiently utilize submersible vehicles to give us stunning new insights into these marine habitats. One of the most important aspects of this area is it's known for one of the largest deep sea coral ecosystems in the world that's been discovered thus far. This is honestly one of the largest thickets of Lophilia that I've seen of this size. The coral mounds influence the biodiversity of the seafloor, basically providing habitat structure. So those coral mounds provide a, a great habitat upon which other things can grow, and that's where we tend to see a lot of the, uh, the biology that we're interested in. I would love to see as many Lophilia mounds as we can see. That would make me very happy. I'd really like to see as far east as they go, just so that we have an idea of where this habitat actually ends. We well, have made it to the top of our exploration today, and now we're uh, looking around on the rim. To be able to understand that ecosystem is really the first step in being able to properly manage human uses of the ocean that interact with that ecosystem. That's really why we're here, is to try to get that basic information, uh, that actionable data that uh, people can make management decisions with.